This week, I had my first session back on court with Felix after his elbow surgery. And in today's video, we're gonna show you what we got up to. Now for context, Felix is a player that I've been working with for the last few months on his quest to gain one ATP point. He's been playing in 15K and 25K pro events. And he had a tough end to the year last year as he had to have his elbow operated on from an ongoing injury. The great news is he's back on court. And as I mentioned, this week we had our first session. So I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see what we get up to. And also at the end of the video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what our plan is for the next few weeks and months in the lead up to his first competition this year. Let's get into it. As you can see, me and Felix weren't at my normal tennis club. We'd actually booked an indoor tennis center just up the road called the Portsmouth Tennis Center. The reason being is it's pretty cold at this time of year in the UK and it was really important that we guaranteed our time on court. So for the next few months, we're gonna be training here. So a big thanks to my brother Maka, who's the head coach at the tennis center for sorting out these courts. Anyway, before filming this video, Felix ran through his normal warm-up routine. This warm-up routine was slightly different to what he used to do pre-operation, as there are a few more additional exercises that were really important for his rehabilitation. There were lots of resistance bands exercises to improve the mobility of his elbow through the extension and flexion. The first part of our actual tennis session, we hit in the service boxes, and we did this for around 20 to 25 minutes. You'll notice that we were hitting with low compression green balls. This was to minimize the impact for Felix's arm. The benefit of using these balls compared to other low compression tennis balls is although they're lighter than a normal yellow tennis ball, they still bounce to a pretty good height, meaning that Felix doesn't have to swing super fast to hit the ball to a decent length. If we were to use the softer low compression balls like red and orange balls, although the impact would have been much easier, Felix would have had to put a lot more effort into hitting that ball deep. And we really wanted to not only minimize impact, but also minimize how fast Felix had to swing that racket. A few days before this session, me, Felix, and the rest of his team, including Keelan, his physio, and Daz, his strength and conditioning coach, met on a team's call to go through Felix's first week or two on court. Because this was Felix's first time on a tennis court in six weeks, we had a strict policy that he was not to go over 50% intensity. Today's session was all about reigniting the connection between Felix's eyes, brain, and body, and really focusing on tracking the ball, moving accurately, and timing his swings. As well as keeping the intensity low, it was also important that Felix didn't go above 45 minutes on court. So it was really important that we stuck to those boundaries. We did 45 minutes on court, followed by 15 minutes of intense movement exercises. Sorry to butt in, but if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Thanks a lot, now back to the video. In the service boxes, we hit forehands, backhands, and volleys. It was so good to see how happy Felix was to be back on court. During these 20 minutes in the service boxes, Felix was really working on finding his rhythm. His aim was to watch the ball well, move his feet well, and time the ball perfectly so that he was hitting the ball clean in the middle of the sweet spot. After this, we went back to the baseline. Now, to minimize impact and to keep the intensity low, I was actually drop feeding for him. We added my drinks bottle as a target at the other end of the court so that he could focus on accuracy and depth. The key was making good use of his legs and trunk and making sure that he wasn't forcing the ball deep using his arm. This wasn't only for the purpose of rehabilitation, but actually it's something that we want to work on moving forwards anyway, making Felix more efficient with his ground strokes. We did a bucket of balls on the forehand side, followed by another bucket on the backhand side. During these bucket drills, Felix and I had a good chat about some of the technical tweaks that we're gonna be looking to make over the next few months before he gets back into competitions, which if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll tell you a little bit about about what's gonna happen in the next few months. But after we did these bucket drills, finally we moved on to rallying from the back of the court. It was really important that we stuck at below 50% intensity, but it was so nice for Felix to hit from the baseline with another player. Here again, we set up some targets, this time a small pyramid of tennis balls. And as you can see, Felix hasn't lost his competitive edge. I honestly thought that this was a better time than ever for me to beat him in this accuracy challenge. But unfortunately, as you can see here, he still beat me and got me doing push-ups. But we were both super happy with how Felix played in his first session. After the 45 minutes of hitting, we collected the tennis balls and finished the session with some high intensity footwork drills. Although Felix had to be careful with the intensity with his upper body work, this wasn't stopping him from pushing himself with his footwork. 
The first footwork exercise we did was 30 seconds of alley shuffles. This is where you sidestep back and forth between the tram lines for 30 seconds to see how many repetitions you can get. After a couple of rounds of doing this side to side, we then did it forwards and backwards. Felix's aim was to beat his score on the second time round. After that, we did some more tennis specific movement patterns with four cones of different colors. The first round, I would shout out a color. Felix was to tap that cone and recover to the center. We did this in 30 second blasts. On the second round, we did the same thing, but instead of tapping the cone, Felix were to shadow a swing on top of it. And for the final two rounds, instead of shouting a color, I would show Felix a signal with my racket. This was to get him to train his cognitive skills. And like I said at the start, getting his eyes, brain and body firing. Just like when playing tennis, Felix was to read my racket to read where that oncoming ball was going to come to, move to that cone, shadow the swing and recover. This was a really intense part of the session and afterwards Felix was blowing. All in all, both Felix and I were super happy with how the session went and we were to go back on court tomorrow for another session. Yeah, it's a good first session back. As I mentioned, we were both super happy with Felix's first session. Felix was chuffed to be back on court and hitting from the baseline. And I was really happy to see that he'd actually improved his athleticism since before his surgery. He's been working really hard behind the scenes to make sure that when he gets back onto the tennis court, he's in full fitness. Since the session you've just seen, we've actually had a few more sessions and I've actually had a haircut too, as you can tell. Felix is now hitting up to 85 to 90% of his full intensity. We're using yellow balls and now instead of hitting for 45 minutes we're hitting for a whole hour and a half so progress has been amazing over the past couple of weeks the one part of his game that we are taking easy is his serve we're currently hitting his serve at 40 percent intensity with the aim to gradually build up so that he's at 100 percent ready for his first tournaments back with that being said felix aims to play his first domestic tournaments mid to late february with the aim to playing his first 25k in mid-march and currently we're on track for those to happen, so that's amazing news. As I mentioned midway through the video, if you enjoy seeing my perspective of what I'm doing with Felix on the court, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see Felix's point of view on these sessions and his journey, head over to the Tennis Brothers to subscribe to his channel too. Thanks as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.